lot number 114 is a 2014 Ford E350 XL 15 passenger van. Well, it's a 15 passenger van, but it's missing the last seat in the back, which holds four passengers. So as it sits now, it can move 10 passengers and the driver. The rear seat was removed to add space for cargo and it's not included. It's got a 5.4 liter V8 with only 86,000 miles. I've had it running for over an hour. It has not overheated, it idles smooth, revs up nice, the automatic transmission engages, and both front and rear AC blow cold. I'm gonna rev it up so you can hear it. Motor sounds good, it revs up nice and it idles smooth. There are the miles, 86,158. The body is straight. It's got minor dents and scratches all around. It shows normal wear and tear. The front bumper has minor scratches. It's got four matching hubcaps. The tires look good, chunky tires. It's got a lot of little paint chips. It's got paint peeling all around. So pretty much everywhere you look, every panel has a little paint peeling. And it's a nice straight body. The roof is solid. It shows very minimal surface rust. It's got a little thing here that also shows surface rust. I left this door open because it doesn't open from the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside rear so when I close it, I don't have to open it again. Again, it's solid. There's no rust around the door jams. This one does not have carpet inside. It was used by Public Works, it appears. And uh, the rear seat was removed to add a little space back here. And there's no carpet. It almost looks like it has some kind of liner on it. The headliner has a small tear right there, but for the most part, it looks good. And again, that door does not open from the outside. It only opens through that interior handle. There's a heavy duty tow hitch included. It's got paint peeling on the rear doors. And then here's the passenger side. It looks nice and straight. Passenger side doesn't have as much paint peeling. The paint looks pretty good over here, but it still has some spots where it's got some paint chips. The roof is solid. It shows very minimal surface rust. Let me show you inside. All these bench seats appear to be in good shape. Here's the first row that holds, all of these hold three passengers. Here's the second row. And here's the third row. And again, the headliner is torn in the back, but overall, it looks pretty good. It looks a little dirty. You could use a good cleaning. Again, there's no carpet inside. It's got some kind of liner, some spray on liner. And both side doors open and close as they should. Passenger door looks good. The door panel's nice. The dashboard is not cracked. It's got some yellow strobes up there. They don't appear to be working. That's the control there. Passenger seat looks good driver's seat looks good too let's go around and I'll show you the driver's side this fender is dented passenger side fender is dented and the, the bumper is dented right there so it took a little hit to that front corner
Here's the driver's side door panel. It looks a little faded. The tinted windows peeling. The steering wheel shows some wear. Tinted window peeling in the front. I showed you the miles. And the driver's seat shows wear, but it's not torn. All right, there you have it. It's lot number 114. Runs and drives cold AC. You see a little surface rust right here over the driver. It's got low miles under 90,000. It's a Ford E350 XL with a 5.4 liter V8. It's lot number 114. Good luck.